Hello and welcome to your 49th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and this morning I want to talk to you about common table expressions, also known as CTE. A common table expression is a temporary result set that is defined during the execution of a select, insert, update, delete, or create view statement. The CTE is available only for the duration of the query and is not stored like other objects in the database. Now some typical uses of CTEs are to replace views, group data, perform recursion, and create multiple references to a single table. The syntax of a CTE looks something like what we see in this little brief example here. Now, right here, Expression underscore name is how the CTE will be referenced in the query and it is required. The column listing is optional but recommended. If the column names in the query definition are not unique, you will get an error when executing the query. You can either use the column listing to correct the problem or fix it in the query definition with aliasing. Okay, immediately following the CTE definition, you should issue a query that references the CTE. As I mentioned a second ago, it could be an insert, update, or delete statement. So, now, let's take a look at how to create and use a common table expression. Alright, get rid of this. Let's go... Grab this block of code right here. Alright. Copy that. Paste that in. Go ahead and type this into your query execution window. Hit execute. Take a look at the results. Alright. Just as I wanted to see. Um, in the CTE definition, the aggregation is defined and can now be used in the select statement that immediately follows the CTE. Now, let's add a join to the person table to add the employee's first names and last names. So, okay, we can get rid of this. We're going to add a join to that. That's what we're doing now, right here, I've got this laid out for us. Copy this. Paste this in, pull this down a hair so you can see the whole thing. Go ahead and pause it and copy that all down. You can save it, use it later. And once you've got it ready to execute, go ahead and execute this and we'll take a look at our result. All right. And then just as I wanted to see, yep, that's all it. Okay. So now. We have aggregated the data for each employee without incurring the overhead of running a summation that includes multiple columns. So now you can see what it's capable of. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a common table expression. Hope you understand it. If not, go back and watch it again. In my next tutorial, I'll be covering table variables, how to declare and use table variables. And from there, I'm not sure. Probably temporary tables after that, how to create and use temporary tables. All right, thanks for stopping by. See you in the 50th tutorial.